All right, so we got stacks and stacks and stacks of silver. We've got stacks and stacks and stacks of gold. Are there other metals we should perhaps be, be stacking as well? Today, we're gonna explore a bit into that. We're gonna talk about PGMs, Platinum Group Metals. These are metals don't get a lot of time in the limelight, and I believe that they are perhaps some of the cheapest, rarest, scarcest assets that we, as stackers, could get our hands on. So let's go on into this article and have a little look-see. See if there's perhaps <clears throat> an opportunity for for people to to get out there and take advantage of. Um, I've been taking advantage of really cheap platinum prices for probably at least five years now, and um, I'm still a buyer. So let's get into this platinum group metals, PGMs. All right, that's where you're gonna hear them as PGMs include platinum, palladium, rhodium, and other metals all of which are prized for their durability, resistance to corrosion, and excellent catalytic properties. Oh yeah, and they're scarce as hen's teeth. Oh yeah, and the BRICS nations, guess what? They dominate this market. So you ask yourselves, you think that this stuff's gonna be making its way to the West or you think it's gonna stay in BRICS hands? I think that that's exactly where it's staying. The automotive industry is the world's largest consumer of these metals which among other things are used in catalytic converters for vehicles and exhaust systems. So yeah, you see people like laying out underneath your cars, uh, snip snap in these catalytic converters. Yeah, and then they're uh, what? Stripping the palladium and, and, and uh, platinum out of them and, and then you gotta go spend a thousand dollars to replace it. A rebound and continued growth in auto production is projected in the coming years, particularly in developing markets. And this should increase demand for platinum group metals, especially when it comes to platinum and palladium. On the supply side, the platinum market is expected to slide into a significant deficit in 2024 and beyond. So as soon as I see that significant deficit and beyond in 2024, I am a player. I love buying stuff that is scarce, all right? But where do platinum and palladium come from? The list of the world's top palladium and platinum mining countries is a short one. And most PGMs come from, guess what guys, guess what? South Africa and Russia. BRICS, B-R-I-C-S, BRICS. Russia, South Africa, they own this, all right? South Africa, platinum production, 120,000 kilograms. Palladium production, 71,000 kilograms. Platinum Group Metal Reserves, 63 million kilograms, all right? This is South Africa who we're talking about. South Africa is the top of the list in the world of platinum producers. With production of 120,000 kilograms in 2023, the country is also a major producer of palladium, taking the second place globally with the 71,000 kilograms last year. South Africa also holds the largest known reserves of PGMs globally. No big deal though, I wouldn't worry about it. Don't buy into this stuff, it's just absolute garbage. It's barbaric relics, pet rocks, no good. You don't want it, it's not for you. According to the US Geological Survey, 2023 production of PGMs in South Africa decreased compared with that in 2022, owing to disruptions in the supply of electricity and multiple issues related to rail transport. Declining prices also contributed to decreased production. So. You think that these miners are just going to go out and, and get this stuff out of the ground when it's dirt cheap? No, they're going to sit on it. They're going to let the price blow up and then they're going to make a pile of money. The Buschfeld complex is the largest PGM resource in the world. It represents the largest majority of annual global production of platinum, palladium. Impala Platinum Holdings, commonly called Implats, is a significant producer in the complex, which hosts the company's Impala Rustenburg mine, Marula mine, Bafakin mine, and Two Rivers joint venture. All right, so that's the skinny on, on uh, South Africa. Russia, now despite being the world's second biggest platinum mining country, Russia annual production trails behind South Africa's by a large margin, coming in at 23,000 kilograms 
in 2023. That said, Russia was the top palladium producer, putting out 92,000 kilograms last year, 21,000 kilograms higher than South Africa's output. So, um, South Africa is running the game in platinum. Russia is a bit stronger in the palladium producing, right? Russia's focused Norse nickel is the world's largest palladium producer and its plant it plans to invest 35 million billion rather 35 billion in infrastructure upgrades between 2021 and 2030 which will ultimately result in the highest uh, metal output all right there have been two questions about Russia's war in Ukraine could impact the Russian's mining sector the USGS reports that for 2023 production in Russia the world's leading producer of palladium increased owing to higher metal grades and ore recovery as well as increased processing of inventory in 2024 as the war continues in Ukraine the US suggested that the group of seven countries sanction Russian palladium producers leading prices to jump significantly on supplies concerns so so the, you're gonna put sanctions on somebody that is the top producer of a super strategic metal oh what's gonna do to the price oh I have no idea I wouldn't buy any it's not for you right like I said it's not for you Zimbabwe is a major producer of both platinum and palladium producing 19,000 kilograms and 15,000 kilograms respectively of the precious metals representing uh, respectively in 2023 all right Zimplatz is the biggest platinum miner in the country and it is 87% owned by implants implants all right so in 2022 Zimbabwe introduced a policy that allows it to stockpile physical metals including PGMs a change to the country's existing cash royalties on miners the rules require mining companies to pay royalties based on the production of in a combination of cash and refined physical metals. The policy currently applies to PGMs, gold, diamonds, and lithium. However, it is dynamic with the option to add or subtract effective metals and charge royalty percentages based on factors such as geopolitical scarcity, scarcity, that's an important word, and demand trends. For example, Zimbabwe doubled its royalties for platinum miners to 5% in the past January and intends to up the royalties for lithium as well. So anyhow, I'm not really concerned about um, their, 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 their mining and, and, and all that stuff. I'm just more or less here to uh, say that um, the big players here, South Africa and, and Russia, are the ones you really should be paying attention to. Canada strong palladium production of 16,000 kilograms was the third highest globally in 2023 Canada's platinum production is also significant with 5,500 kilograms the North American country pol countries palladium and platinum productions were nearly both on par with the previous year the country only holds 310,000 kilograms of PGM reserves the lowest total reserves on the list but companies continue to explore PGMs in Canada in search of more deposits. Canadian PGMs production takes place mainly in the province of Ontario, all right? But PGMs output also comes out of Quebec and Manitoba. The country has one primary PGMs production mine, the Lac des Îles mine, Lac des Îles. So like that uh, translates from French into Lac des Îles, Ile of Isle, the island of, um, Lake of Islands. In Western Ontario which is owned by implants Canada implants the remainder of the country's production is as by product of Canada's primary nickel mines all right so sounds like a lot of this stuff is secondary secondary uh, mining all right much like all, a lot of the silver that's produced it's not primary it's secondary all right, so then we come into the big old US and day. The United States produces 9,800 kilograms of palladium in 2023, alongside with 2,900 kilograms of platinum. Sabania Stillwater in Montana is the only primary producer of PGMs in the US. 
The company also maintains a smelter, refinery, and laboratory in Man Montana and recovers PGMs from spent catalytic catalyst material, all right? Low palladium prices have forced Sabanya Steel Water to curtail production and lay off about 700 employees at Stillwater Complex in 2024. The company has pointed to Russia flooding the palladium market to depress prices. In response, Montana's two U.S. Senators introduced a bill calling for the ban on imports of Russian palladium. All right, so now that we've examined this article, let's think this through. Most of the platinum and palladium is coming out of South Africa and Russia by a, a, by a long shot. We're going to be putting sanctions potentially as G7 nations on Russia once again. Now, how do you think that is going to affect price? Do you think that this could affect price to the upside? Do you think this could um, affect price to the downside? Recently, we've seen palladium pull like 15 or 20% in about a half a second. Um, so I am of the belief that these two metals are extremely undervalued. Palladium is extremely hard to get your hands on. Platinum is much easier to get your hands on. Um, for those of you who've never had an ounce of platinum in your hands and you've been stacking silver, well, this is an ounce of silver, all right? Look how big it is. This is an ounce of platinum. It's about half the size of an ounce of silver, all right? So these things, in my opinion, are free. F-R-E-E. -E. They're free, all right? I'm not telling you guys to run out and buy these things. Like I said, they're not for you. They're not for you. They're for the, they're for the wealthy elites, all right? They're not for you. They're not for the plebs like me and you, okay? But if we want to be a little bit different and we want to diversify our portfolios, and, you know, me, I love taking advantage of opportunities. And whenever I see... Um, what I perceive as the market perhaps being kind of cornered by the BRICS nations, I can't help it. It doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with everything the BRICS nations are doing, because guess what? I don't exactly believe or um, agree with everything that the Western nations are doing. So, look, I'm just looking out for my family, looking out for people that want to listen, looking out for people who want to become wealthy, and people that don't really want to be uh, the mainstream. So, if you're coming to this channel, you're not the mainstream um and thank god for that all right so let's let the mainstream keep on masking up getting boosted up and keep on being those lovely compliant slaves that they are and unlike us we're going to be the resistance take care